Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. Hi Libra. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing these readings for this new moon in Sagittarius that went exact early this morning. I'm doing cardinal signs today. I'm shuffling, if you were wondering. All right. Um, I'm doing relationship readings with a spread that I just uh, made up. I don't know if there's any similar spreads to it out there. If there is, um, it's a coincidence and I am not selling this reading at all. So I'm doing these just for fun, for entertainment purposes. So, you know, and hopefully it, it helps, you know, even if just to take your mind off of whatever you want to take your mind off of or you know sometimes it helps to have a different perspective on things if this resonates with you or not this could be your story or not all right what does Libra need to know for this new moon in Sagittarius I am purposefully omitting dates because time is subjective and this could resonate for you a year down the road. You never know. So, you know, keep an open mind. Release any and all expectations for any specific outcomes or anything. Come on, give me the goods. What does Libra need to know about a relationship? Ooh, ooh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Okay. Ooh, this is very interesting. Okay. <laughs> You definitely showed up in your reading, though. That's that's a fact. Okay, this card is supposed to be the card of the person that you are dealing with, Libra. Swords are air. Okay. And I'm not even getting that you're necessarily dealing with anybody. It feels like you've come to a certain realization. And it feels like a realization about yourself like some sort of understanding about how it is that you tick. What is the situation is the second card. Two of Pentacles. We've got the glyph for Capricorn right here and the glyph for Jupiter. All right. And Jupiter is going to be moving into Capricorn ironically enough. But yeah, um I'm feeling that you are going to need to be a little uh, more balanced in your spending. Okay? Don't overspend. Make sure that you are budgeting uh, your money in a very balanced way. Um, I'm getting the sense that some of you guys may be overindulging and some of you guys may be not indulging at all. Okay? And what I want to say to that is all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, okay? But you don't also want to spend so much money and not save any that you end up with nothing, all right? And nothing to show for it. But, you know, your memories, whatever. <laughs> memories count for something, right? <laughs> uh... I can't sleep on my memories. Oh, wait, no. I sleep on a memory foam mattress. Never mind. <laughs> oh, look, you showed up again. Okay, look. Okay, so you show up twice in your reading. It appears, at least. Maybe three times if you count the first card. That is the glyph for Libra. Okay. And here's Jupiter again. So, yeah. I think you guys are really being tasked with taking a mental inventory of your blessings, all right? 
count your blessings, Libra. Because even if it feels like you you don't have very many, when you start counting your blessings, it almost they just start pouring in and you can't stop counting your blessings after that. That's the that's why gratitude is the attitude that God wants us to have about everything in our lives, right? Or the universe, whatever you believe in. My my belief about what God is might not be your belief about what God is, you know? And that's okay. It doesn't mean that one of us is right and the other one's not right, all right? But yeah, Four of Swords. That's like feeling like maybe you are moving towards something that you value. Maybe it hasn't been easy. Maybe you felt sort of tied and bound by certain things thoughts in your head, okay? Like, ah, oh, no, I couldn't do it that way because if I did it that way, then I wouldn't like this. Alright? But you're still making progress. Regardless. You're still making progress. So that's good. I mean, you might be doing it the hard way is what I'm trying to get at, but here you are again. We have the glyph for Libra. And I have no idea what that symbol means, so I'm sorry that I can't be more helpful. But yeah, this is a balance. This is a very delicate balance. And we have two cards, three cards that look like, like this person is balancing on these swords, this person is balancing on these pentacles, okay? There's, you know, the beginning and the end. Before there was light, there was dark. One cannot exist without the other, Libra. One feeds the other. All right, one creates the other. It's just the way it goes. I mean, everything that exists on this earth plane was fused together by the light, by source, right? Okay, what was that one again? Oh, that was why this is happening. Because, no, 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 wait. Yeah. No, wait, that was the challenge. That was the lesson. Okay, sorry. Okay. So this was the person. This was the situation. This is why the situation was happening. Okay. And this is the challenge or the lesson. Alright, so coming into divine balance. This is the possible outcome. Okay, we have Page of Wands. And I want to say that this is the card of Aries, because Aries is the fire child, and this is a child. But this is a card of knowing knowing which direction you want to go in, okay? Even if you have to start from scratch or start with a beginner's mind, all right? Sometimes you have to unlearn things in order to relearn things in a different, more productive way. Like you could be do have done something the same way for years, but there was a better way out there to do it. And, you know, adaptability is key. You don't want to become obsolete change. Change is the only constant. All right. So yeah, looks like you guys are going to be moving towards some change in your life. Here's the advice, Libra. We have the world. We have the liberator, the divine mother, the one who has conquered death. All right, this could be a person that you're dealing with, or it could just be an energy. It depends on what you believe.
Everything good comes to those who have faith in divine guidance, okay, and divine timing. Go where you're guided to go, all right? Don't let old fears or old belief systems hold you back from what it is that you need or want to accomplish in this lifetime, all right? And Saturn is overseeing it, so don't worry about it, okay? Everything's going to work out just the way that it's supposed to work out. And that was a very interesting reading. <laughs> As always, Libra, I am wishing you the very best. Um, I love you guys very much, and I will talk to you later. Bye!